Hey guys, doing a fitting on a 2023 Volkswagen Amarok. Let's get started. So when you open it, you would have seen, you would have got your card that'll have your code on it. It'll be VWA232ABC. That stands for the 23 Amarok and the airbag compatible. That's what ABC stands for. After you've opened it, you would have noticed you've got six pieces. You'll have two headrests. They go on both sides, but they do have to face forward because there is one way that they go, but we'll explain that a little bit later on. You have two seat bases. These are the parts that you sit on. Now, to define which side it is, you need to look at the little tag that's inside it. And for this one, it'll say VWA232ABC.PA. So PA means passenger. And then we have the driver, and we define that by .DR on the end. Make sure you put them on the right side. Likewise, with the bases, you'll have your backrests. They will also have .PA and .DR in them. So first we'll begin with the base of the driver. So first things first is you will notice there's heaps of Velcros that are all attached and everything. We just want to unattach all those Velcros. So what we're going to do first is we're going to sit it on the seat just in a way that you can see how it's basically going to be set up. Um, the back of the seat base is actually where the tag is. So when you put it on, make sure that is at the back of the seat and these two long straps are at the front. So just sit it on top. All right, so once we've done that, a few things to keep in mind. This strap at the back here actually goes through that gap between the console and the seat. It'll go on the inside of the buckle, so it doesn't affect the usage of that, but it'll just go back there. Just make sure that's like that. There will be a strap, Velcro strap here on the inside. That's gonna go down and underneath the seat and connect with this one. I'll explain that in a little bit. Then we have the two front ones right here. There'll be one on each corner. They attach to each other as well. So first things first, what you wanna do is you wanna get this back part and you wanna push that between the backrest and the base in between that gap so that we can also pull it from behind. So push that through first. Next up, this little strap at the back here on the side also goes through that gap as well. So push that through too. Try keep it straight though. Next, what we wanna do is with this strap on the side here, you wanna actually feed that in between the plastic and the seat itself. It goes down this gap and you should be able to pull it from underneath here. Now, once you've got it down here, you should be able to actually pull it a little bit and also push all this down that gap as well. So be able to try tuck it in. You might have to use something just to push it in that gap. So after you push that side strap down here, you have to do the exact same with this corner one. So again, that just goes inside the plastic. You can even push it from the front and just slide it in. And then you'll be able to pull it down. And you should be able to push all this side and front piece inside the plastic, just like that. Once you've done that, you'll notice all this is still up top. So just push all that in between the plastic as well. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna grab these two Velcro straps at the front, and they're actually gonna go underneath the seat all the way to the back. But if you have electric seats, make sure you go above all the electrics to give it the longest amount of tension you can. Once you've done that, now you wanna go to the back. So once you're in the back now, what you can do is you can lift this carpet flap up and you should be able to just pull that piece that you push through from the front. You fill the two Velcro straps and you just wanna pull them nice and tight just so you can get some strength on that base. And then because before we put those two long straps from the front all the way under, you should be able to grab them straight away. And once you've grabbed them, all you need to do is attach the short one you pushed through at the beginning to that long one, nice and tight. Now, remember I said that little side piece also went through? You wanna pull that through as well. Now, what you wanna do is when you pull it, you wanna pull it so it's vertical and the Velcro is facing inside. So you want it to face towards the passenger. And the reason for that is when you pull it through, you just wanna wrap it straight onto the base because there's that little piece of carpet there right underneath, so you just Velcro it straight to that. Next up, with that little side piece that we put through between the center console and the seat, you just wanna pull that a little bit and just give it some strength. You don't wanna attach it yet, but you do wanna pull it just so it all lines up nice and tight. Now we'll go back to the front. So next, what we wanna do is we wanna attach all these side Velcros, like this one in the middle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this one all the way down and you're gonna try feel it from underneath the seat and pull it towards the door. And then you're gonna attach it to this one underneath. Pull it nice and tight and just Velcro them together. After that, you wanna do the same to the front two. Now they just go in front 
right here along this front piece right underneath. So you just want to attach those two nice and tight as well. Now we've got to do the backrest. So take off your headrest and grab your driver backrest. So get your backrest and open it all up, get the flaps out and just push all the corners out just in case. So you just want to get it over and slide it the whole way down. Make sure when you push it all the way down that the loops around the top of the headrest holes, you just push those loops underneath the plastic surrounding for those uh, metal holes to go through. After that, what you wanna do is, you wanna grab the front flap here and it has these two little hooks. Now you wanna push this whole flap in between the backrest and base as well and then go to the back again. Now that we're in the back again, you just wanna lift this tab again and you just wanna feel for that back piece. Now you just want to pull that flap where the hook's nice and tight. Make sure it's nice and straight as well. And then you just want to grab those two hooks and you want to hook them underneath onto one of the metal railings or somewhere where it's got a little bit of tension to pull that front nice and tight. So do that first. Now once you've done that, you can reattach this carpet flap. Now once you put that carpet flap there, make sure you grab that side piece between the uh, seat and the console and you pull that nice and tight and wrap that and that goes straight over the carpet and then you can pull this back piece and put it straight over top of that as well that's why it has the double side of velcro now all we got left is the headrest now when doing the headrest it doesn't matter which one you grab but it doesn't matter which way you put it on so we like to do it with the tag on the front so make sure when you put it on the tag is facing forward so it should just slide over nice and easy and you put that velcro down and the other one straight over top and now you can put the headrest back in well there we are guys that's all sorted now we got to do is the passenger it's the exact same just obviously vice versa on the sides it'll be pretty easy as long as you follow the same instructions hopefully they made sense and you know you got any uh, questions answered that you may have needed or maybe not have needed. Uh, if you do have any issues, feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to help. Uh, you can call, message or email us and we'll get to you as soon as we can and sort you out so you can get back on the road as soon as possible. So all I can say now is stay safe, stay protected and have a great day.